Well, more now on today's emergency summit in Brussels, where it's hoped Eurozone leaders will reach a deal on a bailout package for Greece. Earlier, we spoke to the journalist Philip Pangalos in Athens. Well, it's going to be a crucial day uh, today after Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras sent some new revised proposals late on Sunday night, improving the Greek offer in a bid to break the deadlock in these months-long talks. Whether it'll be enough, we're not quite sure. He'll be seeing uh, uh, a number of very important people in the, meeting, in the morning. He'll be talking to uh, EC President Jean-Claude Juncker. He'll also be meeting with IMF chief Christine Lagarde, uh, as well as uh, Eurogroup chief uh, Jeroen Dijsselbloem and uh, a very important man, ECB chief Mario Draghi. Uh, we'll see what progress is made as those talks, if they've had a chance to assess the Greek proposals ahead of... Uh, the uh, special Eurozone summit later in the afternoon. Now, it's going to be tough because there still seems to be quite some difference between the two sides, with the Greeks uh, saying that uh, the, the measures being insisted on by the international creditors are just too austere for them and will just uh, um, make their economy contractive even more. And not only that, the big problem with Mr Tsipras is uh, whatever deal he does agree on, if he does agree on a deal, it's going to be very tough to get through his uh, own parliament. At the same time, time is uh, running out very, very fast. Uh, uh, Greece in a very precarious situation. The current deal runs out, as we know, at the end of the month. Greece has to find 1.6 billion euros to pay uh, outstanding uh, money owed to the IMF. If it doesn't, it risks defaulting. And as this is happening, uh, and the concerns that there could be a Greek default and there could be a Greek exit from the single currency. Greek savers are very, very nervous. The Greek banks are in a very precarious uh, position. They're effectively on life support from the ECB's emergency liquidity assistance facility. Uh, we know that something like €4 billion Euros was withdrawn last week alone from nervous Greek so savers. Uh, there are thoughts that they might need another €1 billion, uh, later today. Uh, we don't know how long the uh, ECB will continue supporting Greek banks. And, of course, the last thing they want is capital controls. Uh, let's not forget that the Greek economy, which has contracted by more than 25% in the previous five years of harsh austerity measures with an employment above 26%, is back in recession. So any capital controls could effectively be a one-way street. The economy will contract further. Unemployment already above 26% would go up higher. Uh, it's a very precarious position, very tense times. Of course, there is the EU summit at the end of the week, but we don't know if Greek banks um, can survive that long. Philip Pangalos there, speaking to us earlier from Athens.